Hello everyone, this is a Johnny Aztec Media Review of Microsoft Office 2010. So first off we're going to start with Microsoft Word 2010. The first big change you'll notice when you open this up compared to 2003 or 2007 is the splash screen. As you can see it's an animated splash screen. I've got the technical preview. Um, really nice animation there, makes it look really nice and like you're really gonna make some word document really good, you know. Like let's make some words and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, uh I would this is coming out twenty ten. Uh I think it's coming out in November, I believe. Yeah, I think yeah it's coming in November, so as you can see the biggest difference is it's completely different to 2007 and completely different to 2003 obviously compared to 2007 you've got the basic things here with the title and the heading and everything got the, the editing bits there uh, you've got the inserts and everything pictures and stuff really nice feature I found just give it a quick shout out is the screenshot feature now I'm not running Vista or anything so if I click screen clipping, I can do the screen clipping thing the Vista can do. Now, this is quite cool if you if you are an XP user. So I can just say I wanted to have hmm, this side of my screen, those icons there. It's a screenshot. You then put that into the into the box. See, easy as that. Also, what's very different to 2003 about this is when you minimise it you see what the image will look like so you can tell it's going to be pixelated or not so that's a very good feature the next big thing is this icon over here now you have this when you normally in 2007 2003 you don't but the, the, the big difference is when you click it it opens a whole new window it doesn't open a little tab so you've got this save, your save as, you open, you close, the usual click open, the little box opens, you go and find the documents you want. You can also open many different types of documents. You've got your doc, you've got your dot, htm, rtf, mht, so you can open anything you want to edit in. You've got your recent documents that you've opened. You've got, you can make a new document, so if you want to make a blog post, recent templates, new or existing template, obviously the print, or your printers, number of copies you want, can share it now as well. You've got the uh, you can send this attachment to email. You can use SharePoint. Then you've got your basic options about it. Let's go back. So yeah, that is the big difference. I'll be doing it, an in-depth review of Word and Excel and PowerPoint, so you can see what you can actually do in it. The next program is uh, PowerPoint. There we go. Obviously, the splash screen is the same again. Uh, the next dip, quite different which I like, which shows they put some effort into it, is the uh, they've changed different colours for different windows. So, with the word, you saw that it was blue. Here, you can see it's red. See, I like that. It shows they've put a bit more effort into it. Okay, uh, you get your normal home, insert, design, what design do you want? Transitions. Now, transitions is the bit that I like. If you go over to the transitions tab, if you bring your mouse over the effect, it gives you a little quick preview of what it will be like. I don't know if this is in 2007, but I really like it. So that's so you can see what animations you're going to use. You've got your, your normal animations there. I think there's some new ones added. Um, let's have a look. Ah, wow, that's really nice. I didn't, I didn't, I haven't done this before. I can move it in a shape now. Ah, that's so. That's obviously new. You've got preset movements. Obviously, you know your normal uh, slideshow options, and you click here. You've got your 
normal options that we saw before apart from when you click print obviously you can, with all other versions it's got the options for slides and a number of things you want there so that was powerpoint the next thing i will show you is onenote i won't show excel because that's just excel and excel is boring <laughs> now onenote i really like i'll be using this program a lot in school pretty much enables you to take notes so if you're in class you can take notes instead of to write them down like say you had subtopics you could just write it in here really really easily as you can see I've already made a small one so go on to uh, where is the one I did a good one on here you go see so you've got Nazi Germany so you could have Hitler you have an arrow pointing to his policies Hitler pointing to the unit putsch and you can add notes anywhere on the page see I can add a note there, I can add a note there it's not like word where you're restricted and doesn't show a box around it either so I think this is really cool you can also add um, like audio recordings to it so say you like the teacher was giving a lecture or he was talking to you just click record it will then record him talking to you so you can remember that bit you can add links to anything attachments printouts get stuff from scanners um, it's really really good you can draw so you want a line going from get to the perch you can have it going from there to there really cool padding hand move around the document lasso text let's get all this text here so yeah this is a really really cool uh, application I know this is a, it has been in 2003 and in 2007 but they just improved it so much it's really really nice so that was a really quick summary of Office 2010 coming out in November I believe maybe wrong um, so yeah if you want if you like the look of it pre-order it or get the advanced preview yes thank you for watching rate comment and subscribe